So in our last class, we successfully connected our Android and iOS app to Firebase. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and start designing the login and the registration screens. But before we get to that point, we need to first of all import the images and the fonts and the color resources that we're going to be using throughout our application. We can find it in the resource section of this lecture. So I'm going to pull up our Android Studio. Now the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and create a new folder. So this folder I'm going to call it images. So this is where all our image files are going to be saved. So I'm going to call these images. Now the next thing I want to do will be to navigate to our resource folder. So this is our resource folder. I'm sure you have this already. So I'm going to go ahead and open up images. So I'm going to use Ctrl A to select all of these images. And I'm going to paste them inside of the images folder. All right. So I think this has been properly added up. So as you can see, the images are shown here. If you right click, you can see that load up properly. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to import our font files because we are going to be making use of a custom font in our application. So we need to import the fonts as well. So I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to call it fonts. Now let's go ahead and import our custom fonts. So I'm going to go back and click on fonts. So I have bold, regular and bold, semi-bold. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the fonts here. Now that we successfully imported our fonts and images, the next thing we need to do will be to go into our popspec.yaml file to reference these files, right? Just bringing in images doesn't mean that our Flutter project can recognize them. We first of all need to add it inside of our popspec.yaml before we can actually make use of it in our application. So I'm going to open up our popspec.yaml. The first thing that we need to do will be to, you know, import our images. So this is the place that we need to link up our images. So on Mac, I can just go ahead and highlight all of this and use command and backslash on windows you can use control and backslash to have the same effect all right so this will go ahead and uncomment this for me so what i want to do is to import all of the images inside of the images folder so i'm going to go ahead and remove this and i'm going to remove all of this and leave the backslash only so by having this this way it means that we are importing all the images in the images folder so to confirm that this works, I'm going to go ahead and click on pop.get. All right. So everything seems well in order. If you don't like the green lines and all of that, you can also go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and remove it. It wouldn't spoil anything for you. Now, the next thing we need to do will be to reference our fonts. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment all of this. Okay. So as we know, this is supposed to be on the same line. Now the first thing we need to do will be to set up the font family for each of the fonts. So for the bold, I'm going to call it brand bold. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. We don't need it. Okay, so the name of the font, as you can see, is bold semi bold. So I'm going to go ahead and change this here. I'm going to have bold semi bold. Semi bold or semi bold, whichever one. Alright, now the next one is going to be I'm going to call this brand regular. So using brand regular and brand bold is my own personal convention of naming my fonts. So let's say in future you might want to have a refresh of your app and use a new font. All you just need to do is to bring in the bold and add it here and bring the regular and references as well. It, you don't need to go into the app and start changing and start changing the family name and all of that. So it really works for me. All right, now the next thing we need to do will be to reference the regular font. So to confirm that everything is in order, I'm going to go ahead and click on pop.get. Okay, so now that we successfully imported our custom font, I want the entire application to inherit from my regular font. So to do that, I'm going to go into my main dot dot. Inside of the material app, I'm going to go ahead and set the font family. So I'm gonna add font family. This is going to be equal to brand regular. All right. So to confirm that this works, I'm going to go ahead and stop debugging and I'm going to try to run the app from code. 
So what I expect to see is that the font will be applied to main page, test connection and all of that. In that way, we'll be certain that our custom font is working. So we're already very certain that our images are properly imported. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so our app is deploying. And bam, we have our font. So the difference is very noticeable. This is our new custom font and it looks pretty beautiful. The next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and start designing our login and registration screens. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing in our next class. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.